Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I just wanted to do a quick post here um, with a custom widget code that I'm making available. Um, if you read my post on uh, on the community page on YouTube, you would have seen that I'm going to start uh, posting custom code that you can uh, have access to and start using in your projects. Um, and this is the this is the first one that I'm going to start off with because this is actually something that I I needed in my project. So I just put this together real quick and figured I would share it with the the rest of you. Um, but this is a uh, just a custom widget inside of Flutterflow. Um, doesn't have any dependencies, and I don't have any parameters set up on it right now. Um, I just simply don't have time to to finish it out uh, due to some other commitments that I got to take care of. Um, but sometime in the near future, I'll, I'll complete this code so that it has uh, parameters so that you can edit different parts of the code from within Flutterflow's interface. That way you can set um, certain aspects of it dynamically, such as like a collection reference or um, things like that. But for the time being, you can you can edit directly in the code and set what you need to set inside the code here um, and uh, this is what I what I call a, a block loader for a list um, if you've played around with Flutterflow at, at any length then you should know um, that the uh, infinite scroll option uh, even though it does a great job at limiting how many uh, documents are queried at one particular time which saves uh, your resources saves you money and definitely keeps your uh, app from lagging if you have a lot of documents um, but infinite scroll has its own problems specifically it doesn't it doesn't update when a document is created or deleted inside the collection it'll only listen for uh, updates to an existing document so that's a bit of a problem um, so it kind of makes infinite scroll obsolete for a lot of reasons and then on the the other side of that the regular way of, of querying something um, tends to uh, well it'll it'll generate a lot of documents unless you set a, a hard limit on how many documents you want to query but the problem is when you set that hard limit unless you uh, enable like a, a pull to refresh or um, a timed refresh which that can be kind of obnoxious uh, depending on what kind of app you're building. It's useful for some apps, but not all of them. Um, then your user is only going to be able to query however many you set as that, that hard limit. Um, now granted, if documents are created or deleted in that query, or I'm sorry, in that collection, then it will automatically update on the user's side. So there's there's good things and bad things about using infinite scroll versus just a standard query where you set a hard limit but unfortunately there's no uh, kind of in between that that does both um, so anyway here's this this code that uh, I'll be posting that you can have access to uh, and you can kind of fiddle with it if you want to and customize it a little bit to fit your needs like I said I will develop the code out later on so that it's um, a little bit more customizable uh, from the interface um, but as it stands right now there are just a couple of things that you can go in here and, and edit um, such as the uh, collection path you'd want to set that to the collection that you want to query um, and then the uh, let's see here uh, the batch size wherever that's at uh, it's in there somewhere. Uh, I'm sure I'd see it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where where it's at. Uh, give me just a second. Let me grab this real quick. Uh, okay, line line twenty seven. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, batch size, so you can change this number to whatever you want. That would be the number of documents that load. Um, every time you uh, tap the load more button and on initial load so I just have it set to four because I was playing around with it but you could set that to any number that you want just bear in mind that 
on your initial query, it's going to query that amount. And then every time a user taps load more, it'll query that amount. So um, I found that maybe 50 to 100 records is about is kind of a good balance of, of records to pull in. Um, so you can customize that and then uh, you can customize this if you want to. Um, and let's see, you can change this. Just kind of lets them know if there's nothing in the list. Um, you'll want to customize these two fields. And you can customize that if you want to. That's your load more button. It's just the text that has written there. But anyway, um, in the in the Dart file that I will upload, um, you can open that file up with pretty much any kind of editor. Uh, Notepad++ is a free one that if you just want something real quick and easy to, to get going with, you can uh, download that program and then just uh, open the open the file in that program. You'll be able to see the code there and the instructions. Um, but if, if you use another code editor, by all means, just use whatever works best for you. Um, so anyway, that's that's what we got going on here. And then uh, let me drag this over here real quick. Kind of show you how, how it works before I sign off here. Okay, so you can see that it's, it's pulling a list. I'm just linking into my, to a, a test collection with uh, some random users in there. And I, I set the uh, title as their display name and the subtitle as email. And then if you tap load more, you can see that it loaded four more options there. And then that's, that's all I've got in there. So, all right, so pretty handy. Um, so if you wanna start playing around with that code, you can. Um, if you have any experience with uh, editing widgets and custom code, then maybe you can start making it look a little bit more presentable for your app. But otherwise, like I said, uh, as soon as I find some time to take a break and, or, or catch a break, I'll sit down and actually finish out the code so that it um, presents a little bit better. All right, um, as far as where I'm uploading the code, I'm probably not gonna do it directly on YouTube, um, but I'll put a link with this video as to where it'll be uploaded. Um, I may just upload it to Discord, uh, but we'll see. All right, that's it for now. I'll take care.